Hi, Scott and Darrell from Banner Engineering. Excess gain is a term that you'll run into when you're looking at a photoelectric. We need to know how much power we might potentially have. Daryl, can you talk us a little bit through why excess gain is important, especially when we're selecting out some photoelectrics to use in an application? Sure, Scott, thanks. Uh, as Scott mentioned, excess gain is the amount of light energy a sensor gives off. That's very important. More is better. You always want as much as you can have for each application. And again, that's why we always start off with the oppose mode. To show the amount of excess gain a sensor has, we uh, have an excess gain chart. This is a logarithmic, logarithmic, or log log for short, chart that shows you the excess gain. So real quickly, I can look at this chart and see that at one, which is the amount of light a sensor needs to turn on, uh, an excess gain of one will turn on a sensor's output. So in this chart that we're looking at, out at 20 meters, we have an excess gain of one. Now, that means the sensor can see a target, but barely. That's equivalent to you and I going to the eye doctor and they say, hey, what's the smallest chart you can read? You may be able to read that chart, but just barely. That's how a sensor sees a target at one excess gain. So you never really want to operate there. We typically say, uh, if you're in a factory environment or a warehouse, you, you want to be about at five excess gain. If you're in a slightly dirty environment, 10. If you're in a very, very dirty environment, you might want to be at 50 excess gain. So here's a, an example. Uh, how we would use this excess gain chart. So let's just say we're in a factory and we know that dust is gonna build up on the sensor. So even though this sensor can see out to 20 meters, we may not wanna operate out that far. To have an excess gain of five, we really only wanna be about 10 meters, right? So, and again, excess gain, as its name implies, is the amount of light over what is needed to turn on. Only one is needed to turn on, but you don't always wanna operate there. So if we're in a slightly dirtier application, you may want an excess gain of 10. Again, the sensor can see out to 20 meters, but you may only want to be at six or seven to make sure that you're seeing through the dust and debris. If you're in a very dirty environment, you may want to be at 50. And here we're showing you, if that's the case, you don't want to be any further than three meters back. So that pretty much wraps up excess gain, Scott. So, Daryl, excess gain is the amount of power that we require to make the application work. Why wouldn't we just use the highest amount of excess gain we can possibly find in every application? Yes, because there's some applications that you wouldn't want to use it in, for example, clear or translucent material, because there's so much optical energy, it may just see right through it. An example of that there, Daryl, is some of our highest power and highest excess gain products in our QS30 family. As you can see, I can pass my hand right through these and that will not transition the output. It takes two hands in order for it. So that, that power uh, that is contained in this oppose mode sensor, it's burning right through my hand. So there may be opportunities for the sensor to actually blow through the product that you're looking at. Yeah. That's why that excess gain chart is so important in every application.